Want to get through more books in less time? Well, the Word Runner feature in the Kindle app may help you with just that. I'm going to demonstrate how this works on an Android device and then give you my initial thoughts on it. G'day, Paul here from Democast Media, helping you demonstrate your ideas with ease. On this channel, I talk about the art and science of making great software demonstrations. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and leave your feedback in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. So in 2015, Amazon released a feature to their Kindle app and, and tablet called Word Runner. And the concept is really simple. It displays text in the middle of the screen, one word at a time. So it helps you really focus and What's really fun about this, you can adjust the speed to increase words per minute. And it tells you at the end, once you finish a chapter, how many words you were able to get through. So I'm gonna show you how this works and then tell you later on what I think works well and some considerations about it. So to find the Word Runner feature, you click on the screen and go to the menu uh, option in the top right hand corner, and then you select Word Runner. And it's broken up into two pieces. The, the top half of the display are the, the text and the bottom half are your toggles um, to start the application and to change the speed uh, at which you'll see the text appear. So just to show you right off the bat how this works, you click the play button on the bottom there and it starts a countdown sequence. And you'll see there that um, all the words show up one by one um, with the the full stops, commas, and so forth. Now this also uses a thing called dynamic pacing. So for more complicated words and punctuation, it slows it down so you can still keep uh, registering what's happening on the screen, which I think is great. Now, if you want to speed things up a bit, you can use the slider at the bottom there and make it go faster or slower. Now, if you if you want to just stop and just reread what happened a few moments ago, you can do it in two ways. You can either press the pause button and then on the screen hold it down and scroll until you find the place where you're uh, comfortable with. Or you can use the, the backwards and forwards keys at the bottom and it takes you to the, the next sentence, just like that. And then you can begin again. So this really does give you a lot of flexibility on how to uh, read through more words in less time. There are four things I like about this feature. One, it does help you to focus. I, I think the concept of just having one word at a time and just letting your eyes rest on the screen and, and having it um, feed the words to you piece by piece is a great way to help you focus. The second thing is, I believe in theory, it does have the potential to help you read more. Um, and I say this because my average reading speed without trying very hard is about 210 words per minute. And I can easily eclipse that using this feature. And it actually helps train you to get faster if you want because of the report that it gives you um, at the end of a chapter. But the third thing I like about this, it is very easy to use. The toggles are very self-explanatory. Um, it does give you um, the responsiveness that you would want in an application, being able to pause it, um, scroll left or scroll right. Uh, so it's a no-brainer really. And the fourth thing is, it's fun. I think it's a really fun way to get through your books, especially if you're looking at non-fiction and you're getting through some dry parts and you just want to um, plow through, then I think Word Runner is definitely the way to go. Now, a few things to be aware of, which I'm not sure if they're um, disadvantages as such, but more just considerations. One thing is I personally found that my eyes started to get tired and it was a strain after a while um, just using the Word Runner. So, one thing to consider is you may not have to use this all the time. You may just use it in spurts um, to get you through certain chapters. Another thing to consider is I'm not sure how well this would work if you're reading a 
fiction book where you may want to lose yourself and absorb yourself in the story and let your mind wander a bit or or review a certain passage. Um, it, I don't know, it might not be so great for that kind of experience, but I'm happy to get your feedback on that if you feel otherwise. Um, and another thing to consider on top of this, um, comprehension. So although uh, you increase uh, words per minute, do you improve word efficiency or reading efficiency, which includes comprehension? So are you really absorbing um, as you're, you're getting more of those, the text and words coming, firing right at you? Um, without having a test to back that up, I'm not sure. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, I think it's a worthwhile thing to try out. And at the very least, you can just use it every so often to just get through more books and you will benefit in the long run by getting the gist of something and rereading it uh, again. Okay, so my question for you, what do you think of the Word Runner feature? Um, leave your comments in the section below. And again, yeah, please consider subscribing to get more videos like this on how to demonstrate your ideas with these. Thanks for watching, see you next time.